I would like to thank you all for coming here on such short notice. But I have a mission for each and every one of you, should you wish to accept. I need you to help transport the Thunder Horse. Mr. Owl, do you think you can handle this challenge? Fozzy Bear Army, are you up for the fight? <laughs> Miss Piggy Brigade, yes, yes, yes. will this be too much for you? Let's begin! Let's begin. Abandon Valentine's Bears. Do you think you have what it takes? Why am I enlisting in your guys' help? Because Bubble Wrap is out sick. <laughs> and get well soon, Bear. It's not going to be able to heal him in time. Thunder Horse needs to move. Welcome back, troglodytes, to the Trogly's Guitar Show. Sometimes I get asked the question, Hey, I don't have a huge stack of bubble wrap and I really don't want to pay big money to buy it at Walmart. What can I do? This right here is your answer. I will never forget the first time I pulled a tiger out of a guitar package and thought, that is just absolutely brilliant. I had a guy I used to do a lot of business down in the Cincinnati, Ohio area, and he would send me stuffed animals, like brand new pillows, comforters, because sometimes it is cheaper than buying actual packing materials. So where did I get all these Fozzie Bears and Miss Piggies and stuffed Valentine's Bears that nobody wants after Valentine's Day? Well, you can raid your local thrift stores. Now the one I bought all these guys from, it's a church run operation. As you can see, these things aren't very expensive, like 25 cents, 50 cents, a dollar. But if you can just pick up a couple of these little bears right here, it really does fill up the dead space in your package for very little money. This is mainly a last resort option. Obviously bubble wrap and proper shipping materials are always gonna be better. And one downside to using something like this is they're gonna weigh more, which could potentially cost you more. However, when it comes to guitar packages, you're usually being dimensional weighted anyways, so it really doesn't matter as much as you think it does of how much this package weighs if you're going through like UPS or FedEx. That's the reason why sometimes it's just as cheap to ship two guitars in one box. So today I'm going to show you how it's possible to pack a guitar <laughs> with stuffed animals. Are you guys ready? I am going to cheat a little bit here and use my small bubble wrap inside the case to secure the fit. If you don't have that, you could use something like newspaper or some other soft material. For this video, I'm going to be using one of these reverb boxes. The reason why I have a few of these on hand is just in case I need a big one for an explorer. I'll put a link in the description where you can buy these. I believe last time I checked, it was like three of them for 35 bucks. And if you don't think $35 is cheap for three boxes, try shipping me one of those things for less than that price. I really don't think they make money offering these. All right, so first up here in the Muppet Madness, you're gonna wanna see how many things you can put on the bottom and on the top. So it looks like we've got at least a good couple of bears for the bottom and the top. So let's go ahead and put them onto their mission. Make us proud, Red Bear. You too, Mr. Penguin. Too much pad. 
you have been reassigned. I believe, I believe in every, every, every single, single one of one of one of one. From your funny little laughs to the history and joy that you once brought each child. With your combined strength, you will once again prevail. Your turn, Miss Piggy. Delivering the Thunder Horse. Alright, we are ready to seal this bad boy up. So here we go. Yeah, it's possible you can use this stuff. This definitely weighs more than it would normally if I were to have used our sick bubble wrap over here. Most Explorer packages weigh about 30 pounds. This one is about 41. So if you're in a bind and you need something to pack things, visit your local thrift store. Help them out, make a donation to them, clear out all their unwanted stuffed animals because the best thing about receiving something like this is if you have a dog, these make a great dog toy. For this video, I was pretty picky. I tried to pick out the cleanest looking ones. That way I wasn't just sending old, decrepit, disgusting looking things. Uh, I'd love to see this guy's reaction when he pulls out a bunch of fuzzy bears. Now, whenever you do this, if you're gonna do it to this extreme state, I would inform your buyer. Like this guy, he knows he's getting some stuffed animals. I wouldn't just do this randomly. But hey, if you guys ever buy a guitar from me and you have a Harambe stuck in your box, you'll know it's just me saying, hey, thanks for buying. So now you're probably curious, what's it gonna cost to ship something like this? Let's go find out. It was only $30.37 to send it. All the other costs there is just insurance. Thank you, Troglodytes, for tuning in to the sick day of bubble wrap, and we will catch you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.